When you make a video that is tearing down an indie movie, it can have a big effect. Now I get it, it's not always the best acting, the best story, or the best effects. Let's talk about this. First of all, if you don't know me, my name is Steven. I'm an independent filmmaker. I've made three feature films. I've made over 20 documentary shorts and narrative shorts. I've done a magazine series for Microsoft. I've done a lot. And I've been on both sides of criticism, both having good reviews and bad reviews. So I understand both. And I'm a film critic. been a film critic for a very long time. So I'm coming from a place of experience when I say this. I've seen a lot of posts like this lately because of the backlash against Terrifier 3. The movie came out, everybody lost their mind over it because it was cool, and then people started paying attention to the story, including me, and saying, why wasn't the script better? Because you know what? The cheapest part of filmmaking is writing the script. You have plenty of time to write a good story. If you can't write a good story, you can find writing partners to help you write a good story. It is not that difficult. To say, let's show some respect to the movie, even though the acting's not good, the story's not good, the special effects aren't good. Nothing is actually really good, except that it's an independent film that was finished. I really appreciate, as an indie filmmaker, people who want to come out and show love to independent filmmakers because we're on the bleeding edge of filmmaking. We're not working in an existing IP always, outside of something like Terrifier 3. And we're trying to do new things. At the same time, we should be held to critical standards. When you blow up somebody just because they made a film and that film is not good, you're doing them a disservice as a creator who is evolving. They need to know what's wrong with their film. They need to know the mistakes they made so that they can do better moving forward. It has helped me more than any education I've ever had to have people look at my work with a critical eye. I know the instinct is to say, oh, but you know, they had limited resources. You know what? They had limited resources. But one thing that I've worked with film students to teach them is just because you're a good director doesn't mean you're a good writer or vice versa. Learn to work with other people. And this is something that happens in independent film a lot, is you'll have one person who's just so passionate, they wanna make a movie, so they write a script in order to allow them to make that movie, and the script isn't good. Maybe the filmmaking's pretty good considering the resources they had, but the script isn't good because they're not a good writer. Learning to collaborate is the hardest part of becoming an independent filmmaker. So we have to shine a light on the good and the bad. Now, I don't like it when I see critics come out here, and these aren't actually critics, by the way, come out here and say, oh, this movie sucks, and not come with receipts. If I tell you something's bad, like my review of Terrifier 3, I will give you the receipts, what I think was bad, and if you really wanna know, I'll tell you what I think should have been done differently to make that particular film better. But to cut slack to indie filmmakers on the basics of filmmaking, on Filmmaking 101, which is a series I do here, is doing them a disservice and doing indie film a disservice. There are literally thousands and thousands of films made every year, and the only way we can get to the good stuff is to be critical of everything we see. That helps the people that trust us to know this is actually good. Not just an independent film, it's a good independent film, because there are thousands of independent films made every single year. So to be realistic and to be critical is to do a service to both the filmmaker and the film fan. So I don't subscribe to cutting a film slack because it's independent, I just don't. If I look at an independent film and the acting is not so good, but the script is actually really good, or if the acting is not good and the script is not good, but the special effects and the actual filmmaking, the shooting and editing and that kind of stuff is good, I'll call that part out and say, listen, this stuff was pretty cool. Overall, the movie was not good though. Let's not baby the independent filmmaker. Let's treat them like an adult filmmaker and it'll do a service to them and a service to us.